So what is happening YouTube? Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Thank you for joining me so far um, and for all the progress that we've made. <laughs> I think we've only got an hour or something into the game and yeah, I'm just obviously buzzing a lot about this. Let's pick up some side quests then <clears throat> and see where we end up. Savior, tell me, are you seeking passage into no man's land by any chance? Maybe. Why do you ask? Ah, well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure out west. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that knows the lay of the land. But You're not afraid of the Tanakh? <laughs> Terrified. But I carry out most of my business in no man's land. A neutral territory and all that. Baron Light is our port of entry. Mm -hmm. When its doors aren't closed for an embassy. I was hoping your arrival meant they might be opening soon. I've got a business to run, after all. I want that embassy to happen as much as you do. Believe me, I'm working on it. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, keep us in mind. If you do manage to open the way, our main camp will be just past Baron Light. We'll buy any scrap you've got on you. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West. Guaranteed. All right. Maybe later then. Uh, if you could get those blasted gates open. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, man. I'm um, not the only one who wants to get those gates open. The only thing I'm thinking though is, like, why would I want to change machine parts with someone when I can just make my own? No. And um, let's see what the other quests are. Where? I'm sure, there was more than just those two, wasn't there? Yeah, that we've got one outside. Actually, yeah, good point now. Yeah. We'll jump onto my faithful mount. I've not named them yet. Um, if you want me to give them a name, <laughs> feel free. Um, put your suggestions in the comments and we'll give them a name. We'll just call every mount we have that, so. No rude comments either. I say that because I'm expecting rude suggestions. Oh, it's up the hill. Yeah. Whoops, it's a little bit embarrassing. Onward, whatever your name is. I'm thinking about giving Red Dead Redemption 2 a playthrough on this channel as well at some point. I was back riding in the sunsets. Just reminded me of how good that game is as well. Um, so yeah, we'll give that a... Have I... It's going to be a faster way to get off than just that. Um, how did I not spot a land path through here? Or is it off the beaten track altogether? Uh, oh, it is. You would have to come to there. Climb this. Yeah, there we go. And then here we are. What happened here? What do, what do you care? Don't you? As it happens? No. You know, I was already having a crappy day, and now these, these two idiots picked my shift to climb the damn mountain. Wouldn't be so bad if this one weren't so heavy. Wait, two idiots? Did I stutter? Yeah, two. I heard another one shouting up top. Sounds like they got caught between sharp claws and a sharper fall. Someone's in trouble. Uh, aren't you gonna do something? <laughs> Self-inflicted. And I got my hands full with this one. You're seriously not going to help. You seriously are? <sighs> Someone's in trouble at the top of the cliff. I better get to climbing. Something bugs me. Something that I've just noticed. And... 
It is. It is the um callousness that's become prevalent in certain characters. The world was a little friendlier the last time. And I don't know if it's the impending threat of destruction or the fact that the world has only just recovered from an impending threat of destruction. But I'm just finding it so out of context compared to the last one. Up we go, there we go. Just had to wait for it to find the right handhold there. Oh, come on, Aloy. I'll just grab this while I'm here. I know you're in danger, but I've got some herbs to grab. Could have ended in an embarrassing death. <laughs> oh, trust me, I'm gonna, but. What have we got? What have we got? What are we up against? What are we up against? Whoa! Ouch! Right. Come on. How do I talk to her? Can I get... Oh yeah, I can. I can get up there. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Are you hurt? I live. My so-called bodyguard. You see him on your way up? It was uh, hard to miss him. He's dead. Oh. Guess that's what I get for... Believing in the first chuff in the tavern who said he was a, a mountain climbing machine hunter. Ugh, at least I don't have to pay him now. What are you wow, doing? Wow, that's callous. That used to be a signal tower. The mechanism uses a special lens which, in some very specific circles, is highly valuable. And since the Karja are planning on tearing them down, I was going to liberate the lens before it got destroyed. You get it for me, and the lenses from the other towers. I'll make it very worth your while. You said that was a signal tower. In its day, it was a sight to see. 
All six of them all lit up all around the dawns. They used to warn folks that the Tanakh are coming, for whatever that was worth. As you can imagine, the car just spared no expense putting them together. Hence the fancy lenses in need of a new home before the towers are torn down. So you're a thief. I'm more what you'd call an opportunist with a good eye for business. A thief. Look, the Karja are gonna tear all these towers down anyway. They see no value here. They're trying to make nice with the Tanakh now. See? It's a victimless crime. Uh, opportunity. <laughs> friend down there. <sighs> Self-inflicted. That's the second person that said that. Why can't you do it? Look, even if I hadn't hurt my ankle here, I'm clearly nowhere near as capable as you. Oh, come on. I, I can't just let the lenses go to waste. That's not what my father would have wanted. Oh, here we go. Your father, is he a thief? Sorry, opportunist too? No, he helped design the towers before he passed on. So that's how you know about the lenses. Yeah, and why they have sentimental value. I already found some, actually. Well, look at that. Looks like you're quite the opportunist too, eh? Yeah, yeah. Let me take these off your hands then. This should be a nice reward for your efforts. I'm an honest merchant after all. <laughs> Thank you. Aloy. Reyna. Well, Aloy, as soon as I'm up for it, I'll be going back to Baron Light to rest this ankle. But I'll stick around in case you want to get me that lens up this tower here. No pressure. Just saying. Promise it'll be worth it. I'll see what I can do. Thirty shots. I was expecting like two thousand or something. How oh, danger is that only worth thirty shots? So those are jumping off spots if we were doing this prior to starting this quest. Whoops. Tried to do too much at once there. I thought maybe there was a higher point that I could reach. I can get to that though. And then here. Just quickly check and see if there's anything else in here. No, it doesn't look like it. There was something. Oh, there is something in here. Excellent. The more stuff we have in that stash, the better. So, how are we getting up to you then? Why do I think? Uh, there's nothing to climb outside here. You know what? Yeah, that could have went wrong. I know, I know, I know, that could have went wrong. Um, I don't see a way up. For you guys. Ouch. Wasn't what I meant to do either. Did I have it right in the first place? Is it genuinely spring off that? No, I never reached that. There's no edge to catch hold of there. I don't want to rappel down. I'm just gonna jump across here, exploit the environment. Ah, see, there we go. 
Can up the go. There we go. Devices. Should be on land as I can grab for Reina. There is it's on the back here, I need to. Got the lens. I can trade it with Reina the next time I see her. She's down there. Um If I jump off this one, I can still speak to her, can I? Or I could just jump off the edge and injure myself badly. I promise you guys, I do know what I'm doing <laughs> most of the time. This may not be one of those times, but I do know what I'm doing most of the time. So we'll climb across and give Reina this thing that she wants. Take some time to restock her herbs as well from the few plants that are up here. You can smell the opportunity in the air, can't you? No, that's snow. Did you find the lens? Maybe, if you're ready to trade. Ha! Let's deal! Here you go. Isn't that a sight? And here's a little something for your troubles. A little something. Now if you find any more of these, make sure to come find me at Baron Light. You got it. See you around. You know what, I think we will... I wasn't planning on going up any more of these signal towers because I just thought it was a... Maybe said enough. I can find these collectibles and turn them in later or I find these collectibles and they give me some kind of experience. But it looks like it's a find these collectibles and sell them to a specific trader. Salvage contract. Um, jobs. Collectibles, here we go. Oh no, that's just the dawn. Okay. Ah, oh, so I'm still going to have to find the signal towers myself. So there's one there, one there, and one there. Right. Try and think what I want to do. I really just want to do side quests. You know what? I am. I am just going to do side quests. Um, I will pick up these, the other three lenses in my own time, um, because I don't want this to be boring for you guys. So let's carry on with the quests. Grab some herbs while I'm up here. Climb along to the drop-off point, and I'll drop off. Um, drop to ledge here, I'll climb along to that, jump off, rappel down point. We'll go down. Um, I'll pick up my mount and we'll go back to... I forget the name of this place every single time, do you know that? Barren Light, that's what it is. Um, we'll go back to Barren Light. Right, horse, we make horse face. That's what you're getting called at this point. You're a horse with antlers. Never seen such a creature before in my life. But hey, a machine designed you, so what can we expect? I have read one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Give me two seconds. Clear my throat. Um, I have read a tweet that my brother sent me that contains a bot's interpretation of Batman. Some guy programmed a bot to read all of the Batman. Uh, sorry, to watch all of the Batman movies and then write the script for its own right, Batman I movie. Find whoever's in charge here. Um, First, I could resupply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around too. And given what these guys have designed in this game, I uh, yeah, I can see what machines. <laughs> How people laugh at machines doing the whole 
So I do not yet have what I need to make that. Okay. That's fine. Um, isn't there a stitcher? Yeah, stitcher outfits. And there's the lady that's wanting the Where are they? Oh, over here. Hmm. Use some uh, glaze. I don't know, can you? So, Arsram Explorer, I think it's what I've already got, which is why these aren't marked up. And then there's an improvement on the gear that I have just now that improves your concentration, etc. Um, I don't have enough. Sadly. So. But it's good to know that there's tiers of upgrade. Something up here, so we might as well find out what it is. I mean, meeting Reyna wasn't a waste of time. Um, that was a side quest. Oh! Nice, okay. Remember, you can still buy at any time. That's amazing. So now we can buy potions. And I have a new potion apparently, I didn't even know. It didn't come up. Small health potions, we can craft ourselves. Was there another question mark around here? Yes, there is. There's one just there. Um, so we'll find out what that is next. Looks like another trader. Oh, Cook, of course. Yeah. Amazing. So all of this costs a little more, but because I've been picking up stuff left, right and centre as I've been going, I can afford most of this stuff. Fantastic! So that restores health and stamina. And I can carry two of them, okay. I've got a local stew apparently. Oh no, I can only carry two meals. Right, because everything's just changed to one out of two. Right. I don't have eastern bird wings for that one. But I could get the sun seared ribs, which I'm gonna. And then I can choose when to eat them. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Um. And the last side quest I've got to pick up is in here, so let's go and see to that. that. Looks like he's had a few. Savior, you're my last hope. Conover, she's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse, they're here in the don't. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. 
it was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Larovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Larovic was working with the Eclipse? Well, I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. Okay, let's give him a chance to tell, tell his side exactly of the story. What happened. Weeks ago, during a shift change, some trespassers slipped through the gate. By the time anyone noticed, they were halfway out the canyon. Nozar didn't see the need to give chase. Let the Tanakh take care of them, he said. Nozar's not one to be sidetracked. He tightened up the patrol schedules, reprimanded the sentries, and everyone moved on. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. None of us are careless out here, meaning someone left it open on purpose. And Larovic, well, he's always grumbling about officers. But on this, he was too quiet. And after the incident, he started acting different, jumpy. So when I spotted him sneaking out of the barracks after hours, I followed. I found him arguing with a stranger. And when Larovic mentioned the Eclipse, I, I tried getting closer, but they heard me. The stranger took off, and Larovic lunged at me with his knife. Instincts took over. Sentries heard the scuffle and found me standing over his body. He must have motive for killing him, though, we... surely. We combed the woods, searched Larovic's bunk, searched it again, didn't find anything. Look, Conover's a good man. I don't believe he murdered Larovic in cold blood. But Nazar only listens to facts. And that fact is, Conover killed his fellow sentry. He doesn't deny it, right? No, but more eclipses are out there. And considering there's no evidence backing up this eclipse story, well, we can't question a dead man. Nozar's on edge with the upcoming embassy and doesn't want distractions. But hey, if you find a bunch of Eclipse soldiers hatching an evil plot in the woods, please do let us know. The meeting you witnessed. We'll be doing that. Did you hear quest. anything else about their plans? I'm curious. No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched at Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. Okay, let's do Shadows from the Past then. We should just have time to look into this and finish this quest before we do the embassy. So let's look into that. Let's sprint there as well, David. Let's go. I'm going to switch up my gear actually as well while I'm here. This looks like it gives me the best protection, the best defense, so we'll pop that on. Osiram gear does look pretty solid. I was talking to Erin last night, uh, my partner, and she was saying that, like me, she didn't realise that there was mounted combat in this game. Neither of us knew that this was a thing. Um, so we were both very excited to see... To, you know, I was excited to see it, Erin was excited to hear it, so... Um, I'm going to try and record some shorts I've been meaning to for a while. Um, I tried doing it the wrong way, trying to get, to do the, the shorts specifically, um, and I wasn't happy with the content I was catching, but then I realised why try and capture a minute long video when I can just record a lot of footage, watch it back and then cut what I'm happy with. 
Um, obvious answer, I know, but remember, I have told you guys before. This must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the eclipse. Bloodstains. It's as good a place to start as any. Pretty sure this is where Conover killed that guard. But maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. Nice. It even marked the. Uh... I see plenty of tracks from the Karja search party. Not helpful. Denora being expert trackers. Broken branches. Was someone up here? Oh, there we go. Faint tracks leading away from barren light. I should be able to follow them with my focus. Let's see where this leads. Maybe Conover wasn't lying after all. We'll just ignore these boars just now um, to focus on the mission. I know I've left my mount behind. If I need them, I can call them, though I do have the, the call mount. Lost the trail. There's too many machines walking around. Maybe I can pick up the tracks once I'm past them. Can't override that now. Need to get data from the cauldron if I can find one. We'll let him approach. I want him to look that way. Determined not to look that way, isn't he? But I'll tell you what, guys, we're past the half hour mark again, and I'm always conscious of time. So, what I'll do is back to back recording again. We'll just pick up from here straight away in the next part. It's not a cliffhanger, and we're in the middle of the action. I know it's not ideal, but I don't want to risk running over and losing footage. So we'll leave it here. Join me for the next part, which will be immediately after this. Um, the usual requests, if you guys could like, comment and subscribe, that would be fantastic. Uh, take care of each other, be kind to each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.